Oh, hi everyone, this is Curtis Pike and I'm doing another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I want to show you the shadow and highlights effect. Let's take a look at some stock footage. You can get, I just got this online someplace. You know, here we go. We've got two couples in a park kissing. You know, it's a nice shot, but you know, if you look at it, the you know, the colors don't really pop out and it looks kind of I don't know, it just looks a little dreary and we're going to go ahead and change that with one simple effect. You want to go to the effects panel, go to video effects, twirl down the adjust and then drop on shadow highlight. Now just watch, right out of the box you automatically get a big adjustment. Now this comes with presets and you generally don't want to go with the presets unless you get exactly what you're looking for here. But um, let's go ahead and not and let's click the auto amounts off and now here we go the shadow amount let's see here depending on the shot if you're looking for a darker you know scary movie well there you go you got a darker uh, look if you want to go for you know a bit more I don't know let's say that let's say look at that that looks okay highlight amount you can adjust that you want it to go super bright not so much um, I don't really use that one too much. Let's just leave it at three for whatever. Um, and here's where you can go ahead and really make some some big changes. Now this isn't a color correction a tutorial, so I'm not going to go into the details of all of the different uh, uh, little switches here. But you know, you want to adjust the tonal width. Go ahead, you know, drop that down a bit. You generally want to have a little bit lower than what it comes with. Okay, let's go ahead and adjust the shadow radius. You'll see that in the background that it, they sort of blur together if you go really low. And if you go really high, well, they sort of separate out. So anyways, you could change that. Highlight radius, color correction. You can color correct inside this as well. So there you go. Everything's bright and popping here. Everything is kind of dull and winter's day. So whatever, depending on the look you're going for. Um, it comes at 20, but I want to go a little bit higher. I'd like to get some color out here. Some mid-tones. You want to reduce the mid-tones. You want to up them. Your call. And, of course, you can clip the blacks and whites. Now, um, this clipping is not very good if you do the slider piece because it clips in, like, entire percentages. Where black clipping and white clipping, you want to do, like, points, uh, like, per part of 1%. Like, 1% is pretty much the upper limit. That you want to go for clipping. So let's say we can do 0.10. That's uh, okay. How about 0.50? Okay. Uh, clip the white. Let's go 0 0.30. What does that look like? What does 10.30 look like? Um, but anyways, guys, you can mess around with these types of things. But if you just look at this right away, just by clicking um, the 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 toggle animation here, you can see that it's just made a huge difference without just a few little adjustments. You can see the red trees are brighter, the background's nicer, the colors pop and they stand out, um, and the whole overcast cloudy day effect is gone. Uh, so anyways, experiment with that. We'll look at shadow highlight again in a color contrast um, tutorial I'll be doing in the future, but anyways, enjoy this effect and use it if you're, if you're a filmmaker or if you've got some footage that didn't turn out the way you want it. This effect will make a huge difference. Guys, this is your boy Curtis Pike. I'll be back more with some more footage. Cheers.